Assalamu alaikum. DC motors are best suited for applications where we require a speed control. Among uh, di different uh, DC motors, shunt DC motors, uh, separately excited DC motors, and permanent magnet DC motors have the best torque speed characteristics and are therefore most suitable for speed control applications. Uh, there are three different uh, techniques uh, that can be utilized to control the speed of a shunt DC motor. In the last lecture, we talked about the first approach that is uh, adjust the field resistance. In today's lecture, we shall talk about uh, the rest of the two approaches that can be utilized to control the speed of these motors. So we start with uh, this approach. Uh, here is uh, equivalent electrical circuit of a shunt DC motor. Uh, both the field winding and armature winding are excited by the same voltage source. Uh, here, to control the speed uh, of shunt DC motor by this approach, there is an electronic circuitry which can change the voltage that is, can, that is applied to the armature circuit. So, what will happen when, for example, this voltage is increased? When VA is increased, then IA will also increase because IA is given by this voltage VA minus this voltage EA divided by resistance of armature winding. So when VA is increased, IA will increase and we know that the induced torque that is given by K phi IA. So as IA in is increased, induced torque will also increase uh, and hence uh, induced torque will become larger than the load torque. Load torque is the torque applied by the mechanical load that is connected to the motor. So when current is increased, induced torque will become larger than load torque and therefore it will gain the speed. The motor will gain the speed. Due to increase in speed, EA, EA which is given by K phi omega. So as omega is increased, EA will also increase and that will in turn result into decrease in the current and decrease in current is in turn then associated with decrease in induced torque. So this transient effect will continue until the induced torque will again become equal to the load torque and motor will start running at steady state velocity but now this velocity will be a uh, larger velocity. That is by increasing the armature voltage the speed of the motor will increase and by decreasing this voltage the speed will decrease. That is also apparent from the torque speed characteristics that we have uh, derived for shunt DC motor these torque speed characteristics were given by this equation. Uh, here is a plot of this equation. It is a straight line with a slope, negative slope equal to Ra over K phi square and the intercept on vertical axis is equal to Va over K phi. So if we increase Va, this uh, intercept of this line on vertical axis increases. That is, for an increased Va, we have these torque speed characteristics. Uh, this, uh, li this line is parallel to this line, only difference is this uh, vertical intercept. So this line is for VA1 and let's say this is for VA2 with VA2 greater than VA1. So if we increase uh, VA, then for a given load, the speed of the motor is increased. That is for example, if this is the load, applied load, then uh, for with VA1, machine will be running at this speed and uh, uh, for VA2, machine will be running, motor will be running at this speed. Uh, there is uh, a precaution uh, with uh, this uh, approach. We know that the windings, the armature windings, these can handle uh, a particular amount of voltage. If we apply excessive voltage, the insulation of the windings may get damaged. Therefore, this uh, approach to control the speed of the motor is limited by the maximum voltage that can be applied to the armature winding. 
uh, we define as uh, this speech. This uh, speech is uh, defined as the speed of the motor when we apply the rated voltage uh, and rated load. That speed corresponding to rated voltage and rated load, that voltage speed is called base speed. So this technique to control the speed of shunt DC motor can be utilized to control the speed of shunt DC motor below the base speed. Furthermore, uh, this approach can be equally applied to uh, separately excited DC motors as well as uh, permanent magnet DC motors. Next we talk about the third approach that can be utilized to control the speed of a, a shunt DC motor. That is by inserting an additional resistor in series with armature circuit. The third approach to control the speed of shunt DC motor is inserting an additional resistor in series with armature. That is we insert a variable resistor over here and then we know that the torque speed characteristics we have derived the relation for that that is given by the torque speed characteristics are given by this equation and the plot of this equation is over here uh, it is a straight line with slope equal to minus r a over k phi square uh, by changing this resistance that is by changing uh, this resistance uh, what we uh, see is that the slope of this line is changed. That is, uh, if this is for RA1, then uh, this is for RA2 and for RA3, where RA3 is greater than RA2 is greater than RA1. So by changing the resistance, uh, the slope of the line changes and corresponding to a given load, uh, the motor starts running at different speeds. So increasing Ra means the speed of the motor will decrease. Uh, however, this approach is not uh, very frequently used. Why? Because this armature current is generally very high and therefore this will be associated with power losses. So there are power losses in this resistance and uh, that is why this approach is not very frequently used